Welcome to the channel. In this tutorial, we will see how we can set up the Visual Studio code for writing and executing the Go programs. In order to continue with this video, you need to download and install Go language in your computer and you need to download and install Visual Studio code. If you don't know about it, then the tutorial is available in my channel. The link will be in the description box. If you want, you guys can check that out. Once we have Go language and Visual Studio code installed in our computer, we have to open up the Visual Studio code and if you're using it for the first time then it will open up with the welcome window otherwise you may have created a workspace or something like that uh, if you are working on a workspace then you guys can go to file and you will get an option here to close the workspace and uh, here the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to file save workspace as and uh, I'm going to go to my music folder because I don't have anything in there. You know, you can store it wherever you want. Um, here, I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to say go. And inside this folder, I'm going to say go workspace. And after that, I'm going to click on this save button and the workspace is saved now, which you guys can see here. After that, we will add a folder to the workspace. Again, I'm going to click on file, add folder to workspace and it will open up the folder where we have saved our workspace. Again, I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to say programs and after that, I'm going to select this folder and click on add. And now if I click on this explorer icon button, then I can see the workspace and the folder that I have added. Now we will create a go file. I'm going to select this programs folder that we have added and I'm going to click on this new file icon and we need to give a name for the file. I'm going to say hello dot go dot go is the extension. It should be dot go after that uh, hit the enter button and it will create a um, go file where we can write the go programs. Now I'm going to create a simple go program here. So it will be package main and then we will import the foomt package or fmt and then we will have the uh, main function. So it will be function main and here we will use the print line function available in the foomt package. So it will be foomt dot print line and I'm going to say hello. Okay. Now uh, after that, go to file and uh, save the program that we have written. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to install a couple of extensions in uh, Visual Studio code. So I'm going to click on this extensions icon and here it is displaying the extensions that are installed. Um, we will search for go. And the first extension that we get here is the Go extension created by the Go team at Google. So we will install this extension. Uh, click on that and you, can, and you guys can see the details. Just click on install and it will install the extension. After that, we will uh, go back to the source code you know, the Go program that we have written. And then in Visual Studio Code, we will go to the bottom right corner and we have this notification icon just click on that and depending on your system the go extension will uh, provide some notification you know it will say these are the things required uh, you may want to install them and whatever displayed in here install all of them so click on the install button and then it will uh, install that module Okay, once all these tools are installed, we can uh, close this window now. And uh, one extension that I want you guys to install is uh, an extension called as Code Runner. Just search for Code Runner, um, install it. You know, it will just simplify the process of uh, you know executing the Go program. You'll get a run button in the editor, and by using that, you can uh, run your program. And then I'm going to click on this extensions uh, icon. It will hide that extension part. And then I'm going to close this uh, extensions uh, tab. 
Now after that, go to file and make sure that auto save is uh, selected so that whenever you make some modification to the program, um, you know, that will be saved automatically for you. After that, we just have to do one more setting that is go to file and go to preferences settings. And here um, in this user section, go to extensions and search for run code configuration. And here, if you scroll down, then you will see an option called as run in terminal. Make sure that it is selected. After that, you can close the settings tab. And now in the top right corner, you will get a, a run button which says a run code. Just click on that and the output will appear in the terminal. Now, the reason why we are making sure that we run the program in terminal is if we don't select the run in terminal option, then the program will run in this output tab. This output tab is read only in your program. If you have to provide the user input, then it will not work. And that's why we are making sure that we run the program in the terminal. So this is it guys. This is how we can, uh, you know, set up the visual studio code for writing and executing the go programs. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you don't like it, then hit the dislike button. If you want to say something, then write that in the comment box for more tutorials like this, do subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later in the next video.